In this video, I'll show you how we can transfer files from an iPad or an iPhone to an USB memory or USB stick. Hi, I'm Marlon Ceballos and in this video, I'll show you how we can transfer almost any kind of files from an iPad or an iPhone to an USB memory or USB stick. So, Almost two years ago, I record a similar video to this, explained this process, but many people told me that they got an error. So in this video, I'll show you the process, I'll show you the error, and I'll show you how we can fix this error. The iPad and the iPhone have this kind of connector. This is a lightning connector or lightning port. This is the connector where you plug this cable, a lightning cable, and the lightning cable gives power to the iPad or the iPhone. The lightning cable can be used also for transfer files, for example, to a computer. But the iPad and the iPhone doesn't have an USB port. So, because that, we need to use a cable adapter. The only exception is the iPad Pro. The iPad Pro doesn't have a lightning connector, but has a USB connector. So if you have an iPad Pro, this process doesn't apply to you. Apple has two different adapters. That adapters are necessary because uh, the iPad and the iPhone doesn't have a USB port. The first adapter is this one. It's a very simple adapter, has a lining, a male lining and female line, uh, female USB port. Again, male lining connector and female USB port. The second adapter is pretty similar, has a lining connector, male lining connector female USB port, but also has a lining connector. In this lining connector, we can connect the lining cable. Why? I'm gonna explain it. So the first test that I'm gonna do or show you is using this a very old USB 2 memory and this cable adapter, the simple one. So I'm going to connect the cable adapter in the iPad and I'm going to connect the USB to memory in the cable adapter. So now I have the iPad or iPod, the cable adapter and the USB memory or USB stick. Now I'm going to open, for example, the files application. You can find the files application in the iPad or the iPhone. And in the left part of this screen, we can see the files area. In this area, we can navigate, for example, in the iCloud drive, the local files in my iPad, the Creative Cloud, if you have the Creative Cloud application installed in your iPad. And as you can see, I have two volumes, USB Win and USB Mac. Why? Because I create two partitions in this very old USB. So I'm gonna open the USB Win uh, volume and I can see the content of that volume. I'm gonna open the USB Mac. Again, I can see the content of this volume. I'm gonna open now, for example, for example, the Photos application. I'm gonna open this photo. I'm gonna tap the icon in the upper part of this screen. I can share, for example, this image with, with uh, this button. And we can use, for example, a command called save to files. If you touch this command, so you can save this image in this case in any volume, for example, iCloud Drive, my iPad, and also we can save this 
image, for example, in my USB memory. In this case, I'm gonna disconnect this memory. As you can see, we can use without problem this USB. And now I'm gonna connect this memory. Remember, this is an USB 3 memory. And mm, this kind of memory needs more power. So this is the problem that I'm gonna show you. So I'm gonna connect this USB 3 memory using the cable adapter. And when I connect this memory, as you can see, we get this error. Cannot use accessory. This accessory requires too much power. Remember, the USB drives or USB stick memories needs more power. So the iPad or the iPhone, they can give the enough power to the USB. That's why we need to use this accessory, this cable adapter, because this cable adapter, remember, has the lightning port and we can give po uh, power using this cable. So I'm gonna disconnect this cable adapter. I'm gonna connect this one. I'm gonna connect the lightning cable to the lightning port in the cable adapter. And I'm gonna connect the USB 3 memory and now I have the iPad or the iPhone, the cable adapter with the lightning connector, the lightning cable connected to the adapter and the USB 3 memory connect to the adapter. So now I'm gonna, for example, open this image again. No, I'm gonna open the files application in the left part of this screen, again, in this case, I have backup bits 01. This is my USB 3 memory. Um, I can see the content of this USB. I mean, the files that I previously saved in this memory. So I'm gonna open, for example, photos. I'm gonna touch the screen button in the upper part of this screen. I'm gonna touch the save to files command. I'm gonna touch the USB 3 memory backup bit 01. I'm gonna create a new folder using the icon near to save command. For example, I'm gonna name TMP. I'm gonna select the TMP, the new TMP folder. I'm gonna touch the save command, and this image now is saved in the USB memory. So I'm gonna open files again. As you can see, uh, now I have a TMP folder. I'm gonna open the folder, and this is the image that I previously saved. So and now I'm gonna open the Photoshop, for example. And I'm going to touch the command in the left and lower part of the screen. Import and open. Files. And I'm going to browse again the USB memory. As you can see, the folder, the other documents. For example, I'm going to open this image. I like this image because it's perfect for memes. And as you can see, we can use the files or documents inside or save in the USB memory, and you can save your own files in this memory without problems. So you can use this technique for save files in a USB memory using many applications. A few applications doesn't have access to the files application on the iPad or on the iPhone, so that kind of application doesn't allow to to save documents in the USB memory, but mostly application have access to the files application in the iPad or in the iPhone, and you can save documents directly to the USB drive or USB memory or USB stick as you call it. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, like it, 
you can subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.